Hi friends! Today we will learn about some divisibility rules. So let's start. Let's first start with 2. We need to find whether or not a number is divisible by 2. What is the rule? A number is divisible by 2 if it has 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in its ones place. Yes, any number that ends with any of these five numbers is divisible by 2. So you just need to remember these five numbers. So you just need to remember these five numbers because they are all divisible by 2 themselves. Now we have a list of numbers. We'll be marking the numbers which are divisible by 2 according to the rule that we just learned. 12. Will it be divisible by 2? Yes, because it ends with a 2. 4. Yes, it is divisible by 2. 8. Yes, this is also divisible by 2. 9. No. 24. Yes, it is divisible by 2 because there is a 4 in the 1's place digit. 1024. Yes, it is divisible by 2. 36. Yes, this is also divisible by 2. 89. No, because there's a 9 in the 1's place. 88. Yes, because there's an 8 in the 1's place. 108. Yes, because there's an 8 in the 1's place. 100. Yes, because the 1's place digit is a 0. 1000. Yes, because there's a 0 in the 1's place. 199. No, because there's a 9 in the 1 digit's place. 168. This is also divisible by 2 because there's an 8 in the 1's place. 164. This is divisible by 2 because the 1's place digit is 4. So, this is the way you can find whether a number is divisible by 2. All the numbers divisible by 2 are called even numbers. So, what are even numbers? All the numbers that end with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 are known as even numbers. Now, let's learn how to find out if a number is divisible by 3. There is a rule to find whether a number is divisible by 3. If a number has more than one digit for a single digit number, we will need to remember that 3, 6, 9 are divisible by 3. Now, for all the numbers that have more than one digit, there exists another simple rule. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, the number will also be divisible by 3. Let's learn with an example. Here we have a number. The number is 36. Now, the sum of the digits is 3 plus 6 equals 9. We know 9 is divisible by 3, so 36 is divisible by 3. The next number is 12. The sum of the digits is 1 plus 2 equals 3. We know 3 is divisible by 3, so 12 is divisible by 3. Here we have the next number, 18. The sum of the digits is 1 plus 8 equals 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so this number is also divisible by 3. The next number is 26. What is the sum of digits? This is 2 plus 6 equals 8. 8 is not divisible by 3, so 26 is also not divisible by 3. The next number is 38. We know 3 plus 8 equals 11. 11 is not divisible by 3, so 38 is also not divisible by 3. You can always check your answer to the actual division to see if your answer is correct. Let's check in this case. Divide 38 by 3. We do not get 0 as the remainder, so 38 is not divisible by 3. Our next number is 108. What's the sum of digits for this number? 1 plus 0 plus 8 equals 9. So sum of digits is 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so 108 is also divisible by 3. Once again, you can check your answer. Do the actual division to see if the number is divisible by 3. 108 divided by 3 will give you 36, so yes, your answer is correct. 
Another number is 273. Let's check if this is divisible by 3. What is the sum of digits? 2 plus 7 plus 3 equals 12. We know 12 is divisible by 3, so the number is divisible by 3. Next is 104. 1 plus 0 plus 4 equals 5. 5 is not divisible by 3, so 104 is not divisible by 3. Next number is 234. 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 9. This is divisible by 3, so 234 is divisible by 3. 235. 2 plus 3 plus 5 equals 10. 10 is not divisible by 3, so the number is not divisible by 3. So friends, isn't it easy to find out whether or not a number is divisible by 3? You just have to add up the digits and find the sum and see whether that is divisible by 3. Then if it is, your number is also divisible by 3. So we have learned how to find whether a number is divisible by 2 or 3. Now let's learn how to find out if a number is divisible by 4. In the case of 4, there is no formula or rule to find whether a number that has 1 or 2 digits is divisible by 4. You can only use the rule that I will be teaching you for numbers that have more than 2 digits. For example, for all the numbers 16, 10, 24, 64, 30, 20, and 8, all of these have only 2 or 1 digits. You cannot find out if they are divisible by 4 or not using any rule. You will need to use actual division. But a rule does exist if the number has more than 2 digits. Let's learn. In any number which has more than 2 digits, if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4, then that number will be divisible by 4. For example, 116. The number formed by the last two digits is 16. 16 is divisible by 4. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So, 116 is also divisible by 4. You can check your answer using normal division. 116 divided by 4 equals 29. So yes, 116 is divisible by 4. Here we have another number, 114. This also has more than two digits, and the number formed by the last two digits is 14. We have to see whether 14 is divisible by 4. 14 is not divisible by 4, so 114 will also not be divisible by 4. The next number is 112. The number formed by the last two digits is 12, and 12 is divisible by 4, so you can check your answer. So 112 is also divisible by 4. You can check your answer. 112 divided by 4 is 28. So yes, 112 is divisible by 4. Here we have another number, 203. The number formed by the last two digits is 3. 3 is not divisible by 4, so the number is also not divisible by 4. 204. The number formed by the last two digits is 4. 4 is divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so 204 is divisible by 4. The next number is 2316. Will this be divisible by 4? The number formed by the last two digits is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4, so this number is divisible by 4. You can also check your answer. Do the actual division to check it. 2,316 divided by 4 is 579. So yes, the rule works. 2,824. Is this divisible by 4? The number formed by the last two digits is 24. 24 is divisible by 4, so the number is divisible by 4. The next number is 3000. The number formed by the last two digits is 0. And 0 divided by 4 is 0. So yes, 0 is divisible by 4. Therefore, 3000 must also be divisible by 4. 
The next number is 7016. The number formed by the last two digits is 16. 16 is divisible by 4. So, this number is also divisible by 4. Isn't it so easy to find whether or not a number is divisible by 4? So far, we have learned to find whether or not a number is divisible by 2, 3, or 4.